Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today we're going to do something a little bit special. Top 10 farm all tractors. Let's have that discussion. So guys, before we get started, a couple things I'd like to, to talk to you about first. First thing is, down in the description, we'll list where all the information came for this video. Also, uh, when it comes to horsepower, we used uh, Nebraska Tractor Test and I went with draw bore horsepower because draw bore horsepower is the horsepower that the tractor actually puts to the ground in use. Um, that gives you three different horsepowers normally. You usually get a PTO or a belt pulley and an engine horsepower. I do chose to go with draw bar horsepower because I really, in my personal opinion and in the opinion of uh, Nebraska Tractor Test, that is the actual horsepower of the tractor. So that's what we went by. Um, a lot of these tractors have been voted on by uh, and picked in the order that they're in by the uh, subscribers of the channel. So if you're not subscribed and you'd like to have your opinion heard on the next top 10 video we, we do, this is your chance. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And every, uh, about once a month, we do a top 10. So this be your chance to get your opinion heard. So, all right guys, that pretty much covers that. Let's go ahead and get this list started. Farmall F12. The Farmall F12 was built from 1932 to 1938. It was a 10 to 12 horsepower tractor. They built 123,442 of them. When the first production years of the Farmall F12 they built were built with a Waukesha 1.9 4 liter L head motor later on they were that motor was replaced and was built with the tractors were produced with a international 1.9 liter four cylinder overhead valve motor um, you find a lot of these f12s back in their day in vegetable country and in tobacco country they were a very small very versatile tra versatile little tractor that they were Farmers were wanting something, you know, at this point in time, uh, with, the, with the creation of the Farmall, uh, you basically, what you had was the Farmall Regular or the F20 at this time, and farmers were asking for something smaller, and um, so this was, this was uh, International Harvester's answer to that problem, and it saw, it was a great tractor, and it was very useful tractor, and they sold quite a few of them, and that's why I've placed it here on the list. Farmall A. The Farmall A was built from 1939 to 1947. It was a 15 horsepower tractor with an international overhead valve 1.9 liter four cylinder gas engine. International built 117,552 of these tractors. These are again another very popular uh, tractor. Um, International came out with Cultivision on this tractor which puts you off to the side so you were able to look down across the row instead of looking down as each side of the tractor you look straight out over your collivator it was um, uh, you see tons of these again in tobacco country you see tons of these again in vegetable country they were popular in the grain belt but I think they were much more popular in the tobacco and the vegetable farming areas um, there these tractors again answer a, a, uh, a niche that uh, International was needing to fill with a smaller uh, horsepower tractor that was able to be much more versatile just which is what makes the Farmall tractor so great is it is such a versatile little tractor and or versatile tractor and this was definitely one that International hit the nail on the head with and that's why I have placed it here on the list.
International Farmall Super M. The International Farmall Super M was built from 1952 to 1954, kind of mid-year I believe they stopped production of that. It was a 44 horsepower tractor. It was built with an International 4.3 liter, four cylinder, overhead valve, gas engine. It came in LP also. They built 57,092 of these tractors. The Farmall Super M was the replacement for the Farmall M. Um, there was a period of time where International phased out the smaller horsepower tractor, or the phased out the standard series of the HM, ABC, and stuff, and you, they came out with a Super Series, which gave you more horsepower. Uh, uh, the, they changed the brakes. A few other things were, were modified with. You also, they introduced in some models like the Super M, you have a Super M TA, you have also a Super M diesel correction. I am incorrect with that. There is also a diesel MTA, which it was not a Super. Um, this tractor was very, very, very popular. Actually, this is one of the tractors that the uh, fans of the channel had voted on, and 88% picked this tractor over the uh, International Farmall Farmall 400. So, but uh, I've had I've had a few of these tractors in the past few years, and they are absolutely. A uh, great tractor and they filled in what International was going for so that's why I have placed it here on the list. Farmall Cub. The Farmall Cub was built from 1947 to 1964. It was a 10 horsepower tractor with a one point liter overhead four cylinder valve gas engine. They built 224,203 of the Farmall Cub. The Farmall Cub was one of the highest production tractors International did. Also, it was one of the series that ran the longest. Technically, the, the Cub tractor was built from 1947 to 1984. At one point it changed from the Farmall Cub to the Low Boy Cub or just the Cub. Also thanks to the Cub it was part of Genesis for the Cub Cadet that International built. Um, the early Cub Cadet garden tractors actually had the same rear end as the Farmall Cub tractors did. Um, the Farmall Cub tractor can be found everywhere. It was used in tobacco country. It was used in vegetable country. It was used in the Midwest and in the Great Plains for, for small jobs, mowing, uh, pulling trailers, auxiliary power on the farm. There's an old international ad that that tells you if you if you if it's too small of a tractor for for your for the farm it's ideal for auxiliary power on the farm for smoking trailers and stuff um, it was a highly versatile little tractor and it's why I've placed it here on the list Farmall 560 the Farmall 560 was built from 1958 to 1963. It was a 53 horsepower tractor with a four cylinder, 4.6 liter gas LP or diesel engine. They built 65,985 of these. Now, for some people, this might be a controversial tractor for placing here. Uh, the 560 had some issues with the rear end. It was basically a truck motor with the early ones with a Farmall M rear end, and it had some bearing issues in the rear end in the first generation. But eventually, International did get that fixed. It was the flag series, the flagship for the uh, for the 60 series internationals replacing the, the 460 um, you still find these everywhere um, and, the, and the ones that are out there the guys that have them they love them and they are 
a highly versatile, very well, after they got the bugs out, a very well built tractor. Um, I mean, who knows how many acres of wheat these things have farmed and vegetables and, and, and cotton and, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's one of the, uh, and it, it, it really is one of the pinnacle uh, uh, farm all tractors. When you think of the, the late 60s, or you think of the late 50s, early 60s farm all tractor, a 560 is what pops into your mind, and that's why I've placed it here on the list. Farmall F20. The Farmall F20 was built from 1932 to 1939. It was a 20 horsepower tractor with a 3.6 liter overhead valve four cylinder gas engine. They built 154,398 F20s. The F20 was the replacement to the Farmall regular which was genesis for this for the Farmall series of tractors. The Farmall F20 had 11% more horsepower than the Farmall regular um, and a whole lot of other little upgrades from the uh, from the original. Um, it was one of International's most popular tractors. They built quite a few of them and every farm in the country seemed to have one at one point in time. They were highly popular in the, in the Midwest and in the Great Plains. You still today find several of these things sitting out in the pasture or still for use a little bit on the farm or in, in a farm all international collection. Um, I think they're one of International's most iconic tractors and that's why it's placed here on the list. Farmall 1066. The Farmall 1066 was built from 1971 to 1976. It was a 105 horsepower tractor with a 6.8 liter six cylinder diesel engine. They built 54,997 of these tractors. The Farmall 1066 was one of International's big workhorses. You find these all over the center of the country, especially here in the Great Plains. Um, when these tractors sell today, they still hold their value. They still bring quite a bit of money. Um, they have not lost, lost their value at all. Um, highly versatile, highly good or strong horsepower tractor, well built, cannot think of anything that was wrong about them or a weak spot that they have unless you get one with the full vision cab. <laughs> Otherwise, they are one of International's most iconic tractors and that's why I've placed it here on the list. Farmall H. The Farmall H was built from 1939 to 1953. It was a 24 horsepower tractor with a 2.4 liter overhead valve four cylinder gas engine. They built 391,227 of these tractors. This was International's highest selling tractor, only outsold just a little, just by a small number, by the farm all, mm, correction, just a little bit outsold by the Ford 8N. Everybody and their uncle had one of these tractors, and some farms had multiple of the farm all age. It was probably, it's probably one of the most iconic um, international farm all tractors. Uh, they were used in everything from Tobacco Belt, the Midwest, uh, the Great Plains farm and wheat. You could get loaders on, you could get a, uh, a loader on them. They were ideal for, for, for everything. 
They were one of International's most popular tractors, and that's why I've placed it here on the list. Farmall 5488. With the Farmall 5488 was built from 1981 to 1985. It was a 164 horsepower tractor. It had a 7.6 liter diesel six cylinder engine in it. They built 3,951 of these. And guys, this was the last, this was the last of the farm all tractors. In 1985, the last one of these rolled off the line, bringing, coming to an end, a legacy of farm alls. International Harvester stopped production of these tractors and stopped carrying the farm all name. Also the same year, International stopped production of tractors completely. The Farmall 5488 came in front wheel assist or came in regular. Uh, I mean, it had all the comforts of the day, air conditioner, radio, everything that you would expect and it all pretty much expect in a tractor today, the 5488 had. And still, you still find them to this day in the field doing the job that they were meant to do. Um, and that's why I've placed it here on the list. The Farmall Regular. The Farmall Regular was built from 1924 to 1932. It had a 3.6 liter four-cylinder gas engine. They built 134,650 of these tractors. Guys, this is Genesis. This is where the farm all began. After several years of development, International came out with the farm all regular. Before this, there was no row crop tractor. There was no tractor that was made that you could plow on Monday and cultivate with on Wednesday. You were either larger standard style tractors or the big uh, prairie horses or motor cultivators, they called them, uh, where they were basically, well, a cultivator permanently hung underneath a tractor that you could go out and just basically cultivate with. At this time, several companies had tried uh, making tractors where they were kind of like a horse, where you hook the motor to different pieces of equipment and you could be able to do this, but they just didn't catch on and they just didn't work as well as the Farmall, as the Farmall regular design. Um, it revolutioned, it changed everything. It wasn't shortly after the Farmall regular came out that John Deere followed up with the G GP, which stands for general purpose. Uh, Case not shortly came out later with the, uh, try to catch up with the CC. Um, everybody at this point in time realized after the regular came out that they had to get on this ball game. And it's the tractor that started everything. Um, without the Farmall Regular, I don't think tra tractors wouldn't have developed exactly to the, the way that they have today. So that is why I have placed the Farmall Regular number one on this list.